one, this is Legend of All About the Kicks. Hit that button, subscribe to that channel, share this to your friends and family. Now we're gonna talk about Kodak Black. He turned himself into the police um, for not taking a P test or he had to do a P test or he had to do a um, draw blood. Um, hope he could get out of this. Um, you know, he got the best lawyers in the world, so he might just get a slip on the wrist. But man, if you smoking and drinking, and you know you're supposed to be doing that, you need to chill out. Call that black, you're too talented to be out here still as a fool this. You want papers, man. I don't know how long you want papers. I don't know you were there for two or three years, but you got kids, you making millions of dollars, man, and you're gonna lose a lot of that money again. You've been in jail like three or four times since you've been famous, and you need to just chill, relax, and just keep getting money and ride around these fancy cars and smashing all the pretty girls, man. Chill out, B. If you get out this situation, man, you're not gonna get to. You're not gonna keep on getting a lot of chances. I don't care how much money you got, so you gotta be careful, man. Next topic, let's go. About Cardi B and Offset. Now Cardi B is about to come up with this album. She needs something for, to sell. So what I mean as sell is she gotta gotta be some drama, gotta be some something. Well, in 2018, we just came up with the Prophecy album that went four times platinum. You know what I mean? She went four times platinum. What, what happens with that time when Cardi B came up with her first album? All set was cheating. He was doing all kinds of crazy stuff. Strippers, all this, all that. So that album sold. I mean, don't get me wrong. Heck, dope album, chart, four times platinum, platinum singles, everything. You know what I mean? So this album is, a, is like a, it's a rollout. Her second album. She ever came out an album in five years. She put out she put out like ten singles. They all did good. You know, she number one, she had number two platinum singles, diamond platinum singles, all that. So she needs something to roll out with. And this is the best thing to do. Me and all said be breaking up, we ain't together, you know, she talking reckless, saying all kinds of stuff. And you know, when you got when you got an album coming out, you know how people do, they get hyped up, they start drama, they do all kinds of stuff so people can buy your album or listen to your album. So that's what I think Cardi B is doing. I could be wrong, but um, that's where I see how this going. You know what I mean? You need something to promote your album, man. A lot of people, they do stupid stuff for that just to get people to listen and have the target on them so, you know, they can get some album sales and listen. And, and that's what I think this with Cardi B and Offset doing. I, there's a lot of fake uh, breakups these days in the last couple of months. Ray J told about he broke up with his wife. They get a divorce. That's a lie. That's only to get on the, keep the love of hip hop flowing. And Cardi B, you know me, is doing the same thing. You know what I mean? Don't get me wrong, Cardi B is real, but I feel like, you know, she gotta do something to people to listen to the music. You know what I'm saying? Because there's a lot of females out here right now is killing it, killing it. You got Lotto, you got Gorilla, you got um, Ice Spice, you got Nicki out here doing her thing. And now Cardi's trying to get back in the midst. And that's what I think it is. And it's just my opinion. If you think I'm wrong, if you leave a comment and say, oh no, you don't know what you're talking about. I'm telling you, this is a rollout for her new album. I don't know what's the date is coming for her album. It's coming soon. Trust me, it's coming soon. And after the album come out, and if it do good, then everything's gonna be all good with all said and her. You know what I'm saying? Salute to the Migos. They did a um, treated it to uh, take off yesterday. Um, and that's a salute to them getting back together. I don't know how long they're gonna be back together, but it might just be for that one night. But it was good to see them back on stage, man. Um, still ain't the same without not seeing take off there, man. Two, you know, it was basically three. Seeing two is kind of weird. So, uh, salute to them. But like I said, man, Cardi B is doing this for her rollout for her new album, man. And I think her album gonna, I think her album's gonna be good. You take five years off, you better have a nice album. Five years off. So, if it's trash, I won't put it out. If it's dope, put it out. But if it's trash, don't put it out because people are gonna clown you, man. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to be like Sweetie selling 2,000 copies. <laughs> let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. <laughs> to subscribe to that channel, put a like on that button. Share this to your friends and family. We out of here. Salute to everybody. Watch the videos. One love.